welcome. Welcome to this place in cyberspace, which we sometimes refer to as the virtual mission chapel of the Archangel Uriel, part of the Temple of Gaia. Whether this looks like something you've avoided or something you miss, we hope you will find what you're looking for while you're here. We are omnidenominational. We don't teach you our path. We help you find your own path. If you have a path, we hope we can add some dimension to it while you're here. And you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. If you don't have a spiritual path, we can help you find yours. If you once did have a spiritual path, but you were driven away by issues, especially issues having to do with other people on that path, we hope that you can come here for the healing you need and the restoration you deserve. Above all, welcome. Merry meet, blessed be, and welcome to our special celebration. I consecrate this circle of power to the ancient gods. Here may they manifest and bless their child. I consecrate this circle of power to the ancient gods. Here may they manifest and bless their child. This is a time that is not a time, in a place that is not a place on a day that is not a day. I stand at the threshold between the worlds before the veil of mysteries. May the ancient ones help and protect me on my magical journey. I call upon you, powers of air, to witness this rite and to guard this circle. I call upon you, powers of fire, to witness this rite and to guard this circle. I call upon you, powers of water, to witness this rite and to guard this circle. I call upon you, powers of earth, to witness this rite and to guard this circle. Hamari Nordri, Helgeri Thetak Hobvert. Hamari Austri, Helga Vita Dark Halford. Hamari Sudri, Helga Vita Dark Halford. Hamari Vestri, Helga Vita Dark Halford. Hamaru for me, Helga Vita Dark Halford. Hamaru to me, Helga Vita Dark Halford. Hamar, Helga Vita Dark Halford. Umikakimir as Gadarak Midgarder. The circle is bound with power all round. Within it I stand with protection at hand. From the sayings of the High One. At every doorway what you have to do is look around you and look out. Never forget no matter where you are, you might find a foe. Another reading from the sayings of the High One. Don't leave your weapons lying about behind your back in a field. You never know when you may all of a sudden need your spear. Here in the United States today, Right now is the time for honoring those who fell in the service of their country and those who returned and have since died. Memorial Day, we call it. Like the old father said, you don't know when the call's coming. 
None of them did. None of them knew what their call would be. Any one of them might have found themselves in the battlefield. But then there were those who were called who were called to serve as supply clerks, typists, medical assistants, police, and various others. You're regardless. And whether they stepped forward themselves to volunteer or if they were drafted, as many of them were, the fact is they all stepped forward and took an oath. Same one that I did, and I remember it well. To support and defend the Constitution of the United States was part of it. And another part was, and this is one that a lot of people don't really quite grasp unless they've taken the oath. To obey the orders of the President of the United States and the officers appointed over me. In other words, we're not talking about discussing and debating the merits of a particular battle or a particular war or a particular engagement or a particular situation. No. There were those who might have had a difficult time dealing with the fact that they were obeying the orders of Richard Nixon. I had a difficult time with the orders of Jimmy Carter, but I still did because he was the President of the United States at the time and I took, and I took that oath. And as I saw it, it was that simple. And there were those who stepped forward, took the training, and then were summoned to duty and died performing that duty. There were the others who came home. Some of them lived full lives, some of them had lives that were cut short otherwise. Nevertheless, they served their country. And we remember them today. How do we remember them? You go to some bases, some military bases, and they'll have one form or another of an exhibition. There's going to be parades and all that other neat stuff, but you know what? For me personally, I remember a book I read before I became a member of the military. A book titled Here Is Your War by Ernie Pyle, a war correspondent who died during World War II. He died during the invasion of Okinawa, as a matter of fact. This was after covering North Africa and Italy and Europe. And then they moved him over to Okinawa to cover that. And that's where he died. But his book, Here is Your War, which talked about the action in North Africa, he said, maybe the best thing you can do is just simply when you see the headstones just look at them and just say thanks buddy and so I say Thanks, buddies. I don't think... I think that co covers it. Don't you?
since the dawn of time. People have sought communion with the divine. And the divine has sought to facilitate that communion. Toward that end, the divine has acquired many faces and facets so that over the generations, people would be able to envision and commune with the divine in terms which they could understand. Now as we come to know better the ways of our ancestors and the ways of others, we strive to see the unity behind the innumerable faces and facets of the divine. Like a diamond, the divine has facets, each facing a particular direction and having its own characteristics. But each facet is connected to each other facet by the rest of the diamond, such that no facet can claim to be the entire diamond. And that diamond is the divine, that most high God, whose first priest known to us by name was Melchizedek. I stand here before the Most High God as a mortal among mortals. I am a priest because the Divine called me to be a priest and I hold myself accountable to the Divine for my deeds as a priest. And I stand with the priests and priestesses who have come before me in proclaiming faith in the Divine. I believe in the unnamed God, the bornless one from whom all else divine and mundane was created and in the many facets of the Godhead named and without name, seen as gods, goddesses, or otherwise, which re reach out to receive each person within mankind in communion, each according to his or her perception and understanding of the divine. And I believe in the archangels Raphael, Gabriel, Michael, and Ariel, and other angels known and unknown. And I believe in one earth, the mother of us all, and in one womb, wherein all men and women are begotten, and wherein they shall rest. And I believe in many paths to the divine, all leading to the divine. And I believe in the gathering of people of like mind and the power and energy they raise when gathered for like purpose. And I believe in the communion of saints and for as much as food and drink are transmuted to us daily into spiritual substance. I believe in the miracle of the Mass. And I confess one baptism of wisdom whereby we accomplish the miracle of incarnation. And I confess my life one individual and eternal, which was and is and is to come. So mote it be. And so we proclaim the great mystery of the divine. A God is born. A God lives. A God has died. A God is born again. A God lives again. O oh, Father Odin, Lady Freya, El Shaddai, Mar Yeshua, Mighty Thor, Lady Frigga, Lady Sif, Lord Garnunos, Lady Caridwin. Raphael, Michael, Gabriel, Uriel. And those invited by those who are joining us. I invite you and welcome you to this temple, to this circle, to this rite. I welcome you and as a token of that welcome in accordance with the ancient ways, I break bread with you. Hail and welcome.
I bid you welcome in reverence and respect, but also in friendship. I welcome you in friendship, and as a token of that friendship and to bind that friendship, in accordance with the ancient ways, I offer drink. Hail and welcome. Behold the feast with which we welcome the divine. Take of the bread and of the cup and feast and celebrate as the divine within welcomes the divine without. of our country and of all countries. Since I see so many of those who fell for other countries, who served for other countries, in other times and other circumstances we would have been friends, perhaps very good friends. for several of them. They were comrades. They may have been enemies at one time, but at another time they became comrades. And that's when I knew them. And so, I give thanks and we give thanks to the fallen who served their country. And we thank you. And we honor them. We ask that they be blessed. And that they be found worthy. for those who stood for the country. So more it be. I remember watching 
films of young kamikazes leaving on their final mission. For all I know, they may have been flying against where my father was serving in the Navy. But I saw these young friendly men. Yes, they had a cause. But so many of them, where that final call did not come, they became our friends. Let's not forget that on this moment. I had to say that. Go forth in peace. O powers of air, my thanks and my blessing. Go forth in peace. O powers of fire, my thanks and my blessings. Go forth in peace, O powers of water, my thanks and my blessings. Go forth in peace, O powers of earth, my thanks and my blessings. To all beings and powers of the visible and invisible, depart in peace. May there always be love, peace, and harmony between us. My thanks and my blessings. The circle is open, yet ever it remains a circle. Around and through me always flows its magical power. So mote it be, and blessed be. Uriel's Gifts and the Secrets in Plain Sight are sponsored by the Temple of Gaia. Your spiritual journey is exactly that, a journey. Like any other journey, there's a beginning point, there's a destination, and there's every step from the start to the finish. Religion is like underwear. What works well for me might be inappropriate for someone else, including you. I can guarantee you that no matter how similar our paths are, they will not be identical. At Temple of Gaia, we don't train you to our path. We show you how to find and pursue your own path. We also help you prepare for your ministry. Prepare, yes, no matter how far along you are, there will always be something coming to prepare for. Ministry, we all have a ministry, beginning with our own ministry to ourselves. Above all, we provide a great place to come together and to share. We're located in Collingdale, Pennsylvania, just outside of Philadelphia and wherever cyberspace can be reached. Temple of Gaia is a Wiccan church incorporated under the laws of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. To learn more, visit our website at templeofgaiainc.org. That's T-E-M-P-L-E-O-F-G-A-I-A-I-N-C dot O-R-G. We also have a meeting place in cyberspace at templeofgaia.ning.com. If you like this, you might also enjoy our weekly audio podcast, The Secrets in Plain Sight, available through iTunes or almost any place else where free podcasts are available for download, including its own website at secrets.libsyn.com. Thank you for coming. I hope that you've found something here that can help, perhaps a seed that might take hold and grow to your benefit. Feel free to return at any time. We intend to always have something for you here. Blessed be. This has been a presentation of the Wise Ones Net. Merry part and blessed be.